Thanks for joining us. My pleasure to be with you, Brian. Good evening. Now, you're a consultant in the energy market. Yes, indeed. That's what I do. Now, we've got a crisis in energy, haven't we? The Prime Minister's been waving a, a yellow card all week. Well, Brian, we do face some significant issues with the energy market. I think that can be said. Yeah, but I thought we had gas and electricity coming out of our ears. Yeah, we do, Brian. But I don't think it's any secret that we're confronting serious challenges with the energy market. Well, let's talk about this energy market. Well, in Australia, you buy energy on an energy market. You're either buying it at a spot price or you're buying it in terms of a longer contractual agreement, Brian, with a supplier. But didn't all the energy in this country, wasn't it owned by the Australian people? Yeah, we fixed that. Well, it was all owned by governments. I yep. mean, they built it with our money. Yes, that's right, Brian, but it was hopelessly inefficient. And a few years ago, a lot of it was privatised. Who said it was hopelessly inefficient? The people who wanted to buy it, Brian. How'd they sell that idea to the people who already owned well, it? Well, it was obviously going to result in lower prices to the consumer, Brian, because there were so many other players coming into the market. More electricity producers? No, more billing companies, Brian. But the key element was choice. They were being offered a greater choice. Choice of yep. what? Choice of what? Yeah. No, the watts were exactly the same, Brian. The choice was in who you could buy them from. So who bought the infrastructure? Well, a lot of that is still government-owned. If you take the state of Victoria, for example, still government-owned. Owned by the Victorian government? No, owned by the Singapore government and the Chinese government, Brian. But to answer your question, it's still government-owned. So why did the prices go through the roof? I mean, what happened when they removed the carbon tax to lower prices? What happened? What happened to prices? Yeah. Well, they doubled, Brian. But, of course, that's only going to affect you if you're buying energy. But isn't that what people are doing, buying energy in the market? Well, yes, theoretically, Brian, but you can only buy it if it's there. You can't buy it if it's not there. And remember, a lot of these outages have occurred at times of serious, extreme weather events. Yeah, but wouldn't an extreme weather event be a fair test of the system? Yeah, we don't have a system, Brian. We have an energy market. We've got an energy market. Right. Yeah. And what's gas got to do with this? Oh, gas is important because the job of the regulator, Brian, when demand goes through the roof, is to generate mm. extra capacity using gas. How do they do that? Well, they don't, Brian. They can't. They haven't got any gas. But we export billions of dollars of gas. That's right. But by definition, that's exported, Brian. That's gone offshore. We need some of that gas here. But they get a better price for export. They get a it? better price here. It's a market, Brian. This is part of the problem. But surely all this operates in uh, around government policy. Oh, yes. There's overarching government policy. Well, tell me, what's the government policy? Well, uh, oh, goodness. What happened there? Well, just wait till the lights come on, Brian, and then perhaps ask me that last one again. Which one? The one about government policy. I'll try and imagine there is some. Thank mm -hmm. you.